Psalm 119, verse 163. Sheker saneti va'ata eva, Torah ahavti. We begin here with sheker, falsehood. Falsehood or lies. False, falsehood, I hated. Here is the call perfect 1CS of the verbal root sin nun aleph. Notice it is a third aleph, and so we get the thematic vowel pushed to an e. That's pretty normal. We also lose the, voc the silent schwa that would be under the aleph. We lose that, which means then we lose the dagesh lene that was in the final tav. So a lot of changes here, but not ones that are entirely detrimental to parsing it. We still see the T, and we still see all of the verbal root. Uh, I've marked it up so much now that it's hard to see anything. But there you go. Perfect 1CS of sane, which is to hate. So with the I, 1CS, I hated falsehood. Next, we get the vav on the cohortative of tav ayin baked, to abhor, to abhor. We get the olive performative here, so it's a 1CS, and then the tav gives us that uh, cohortative idea. This is an interesting verbal form. The, the VHS text indicates that this vav in several manuscripts and editions uh, is actually written with a commit, which would make it a vav consecutive following from the perfect verb here, we would get something like I hated and I abhorred. If we read this with a patach, just as a vav conjunctive, then you might get something like I hated so that I may abhor, and that may abhor would give you the idea, but I think the understanding of just two consecutive verbal ideas, I hated and I abhorred falsehood, works better here. In the next part of the verse, we get your law. Notice this is a 2ms suffix on the singular Torah. There's our Tav that comes out off of Torah. And then finally, we get the verb call perfect 1cs of Aleph, Hey, Beit, to love. I have loved. The logical connection here, I think, is an alternative. Uh, we might say, but. So we have I have hated and abhorred falsehood, but I have loved your law.